Hi, welcome. Uh, today we're going to talk about the windmill activity that we have in the engineering by design curriculum. Uh, this curriculum is targeting third grade through fifth grade students. Uh, and we've redesigned this activity to make it more authentic, to get kids excited and engaged in STEM education. As your trainees come into the room, you're going to pitch them our little town called Windmillville. Uh, this would be the same if you were doing this with elementary students as well. Uh, but our, our little fictional story here that uh, we have a windmill in Windmillville um, that needs to be repaired so the uh, community can use it. And so we're trying to set this up in such a way that students have buy-in, that they're actually in this town uh, and going to, to help save the town uh, by designing a new windmill, uh, specifically the blades. And so when your trainees come into the room, uh, pitch this fictional story to them, uh, put them in the, the eyes of a student and our goal is to get them to design and build a windmill that can effectively convert wind energy into mechanical en energy to lift a small weight. Uh, we recommend something like a paper clip uh, if you want to give some of the high flyers in your class or, or the uh, either the, the elementary class or the, the training that you're running um, something heavier to kind of test their, their aptitude. Uh, but the goal is they're going to test and evaluate its performance to ensure that it meets the necessary size and constraints that you'll see here below. Uh, additionally, we've incorporated math, specifically measurement, uh, into this design to make sure that third and fifth grade students are incorporating math uh, into their engineering design. So the requirements, um, the windmill must be able to lift that small weight that you give them. You could give each team a different weight. That way they could, when they present at the end and, and share out, it would help them understand, um, you know, different blade designs depending on the weight that they're trying to lift. Uh, it's going to be uh, powered by an electrical fan, which is going to simulate our wind in this case. And they can only use the materials that are provided. So we're going to give them plastic water ball, bottles, straws, skewers, popsicle sticks, plastic cups, toilet paper rolls, plastic bottle caps, cardboard, spoons, string, some sort of weight, uh, hot glue gun and sticks uh, for the hot glue gun, scissors and tape. Uh, a way that you could build on this to actually make it uh, a little bit more involved is you could put a price on each of these items and give this, the, the students or your, your trainees a specified budget that they have to work within. And then they, they'll start thinking about uh, cost ratios, uh, you know, depending on which elementary school classroom you're doing this in, that may be a little bit advanced. Um, but if you want to tie that into your training that you're running, that would be ideal, um, depending on how far you want to take this and how much time you've designated to the training. Uh, again, we're incorporating math into this to make sure that we're hitting all facets of STEM. Um, we want to have them incorporate geometry. So think about shapes, angles when it comes to the windmill design. They're going to do a lot of measurements as far as the length and the width of their blades, the height of the blade, uh, and then also um, weighing whatever that is that they're lifting. Um, again, depending on the, the level of training or um, the elementary classroom, you could even have them calculate mechanical advantage using uh, wheel and axle calculations. Um, and then we're going to have them collect data. So that's important. We want them to create a graph or a chart. Uh, you may need to go into that in a little bit more detail. Um, but have them come up with different designs, uh, test several designs, graph that or chart it um, to determine its effectiveness. And then the class as a whole can also um, compare and contrast their charts and graphs. Uh, but we're going to use the 6E model, so we're going to engage those students by listening to the story to get them inspired. Uh, we're going to have them explore by doing different brainstorming and sketching. Uh, consider how shapes and size. They may also do some internet research on that as well. Um, we need them to explain it, so they're going to discuss with their team while they're, why their design works the best. The engineering piece is really coming in when it comes to building the windmill based on their design. So they want to 
come up with a pretty solid design and then actually build that and test it. Uh, during the enrichment phase, they're going to test that windmill using that electric uh, fan and record how well it lifts. And then they may need to go back, uh, redesign and re-engineer. Uh, and then finally, they're going to evaluate um, the 6E there by analyzing their results, discuss what worked well, identify areas for improvement, and then finally sharing out to the entire class where they can compare and contrast different designs, why some were better than others. Uh, the point of this project is not to have the strongest windmill, the fastest windmill. The point of the project is to follow a design process, to use math, to make informed decisions. Um, some teachers may want to create a competition when it comes to this. Uh, however, our intent is not to design the biggest, best, and fastest, but rather helping students work through that process to come up with a, a really solid design before they ever start building. Um, and then, you know, if, if there's a little prize at the end or, or some accolades for the, the team that lifted the most weight or lifted the weight the fastest, um, that's completely up to the teacher or the trainer. Just some safety considerations. Uh, hot glue guns are hot. Uh, that's a tough concept for adults and, and students to sometimes grasp. Uh, but just reiterate that throughout the uh, design and the build. And then scissors obviously need to be used with care. Um, they should be using the materials appropriately and following any safety instructions that were provided by the trainer or the teacher. We do have STLs, again, grades three through five outlined. Uh, so we've listed the STL and then we've listed how our lesson plan actually aligns to that benchmark. So rather than telling them the standard, we're actually telling them how the standard is specifically aligned to this lesson plan. Uh, that's gonna help teachers understand how they really need to incorporate those standards into their classroom when they take this back. Um, and then finally, what do they need to remember? Creativity and innovation are key. Uh, students need to understand there is no single right answer. Some of them may fail. They need to pick themselves back up and try a different design. Uh, that's all part of our 6E model. Uh, and they also need to experiment with different designs. The first idea is not necessarily going to be the best. Collaboration, we are encouraging that. So they should be working on teams. Uh, that could be self-selected teams. It could be counting heads, you know, one through six to get teams of three or four. Um, and then they also need to be providing constructive feedback to each other. Finally, the key to this activity, again, is documenting the design process, including sketches, uh, measurements, observations, and reflections on what they've learned. Uh, so again, we're, we're tying that into uh, to that fictional town, getting their buy-in with this authentic um, activity getting students to incorporate math, uh, graphs, charts, sketching to come up with that best windmill design. So just as always, if you're stuck as you're running a training or if you're stuck as you're incorporating this into your classroom, uh, we encourage you to work at, reach out to our team and ask for help and we are more than willing to give it to you. Um, so best of luck as you run this activity. Also use our feedback form that we always provide so we can always continuously improve our activities, projects, and problems for our network. Thank you.